Hi, my name is Oren. These are Ron and Dolon. We only have six minutes, so let me cut to the chase. You're all totally screwed. Your entire life is on a mobile device. Your contact info, emails, credit card details, photos, videos, confidential business information, everything. And I'm willing to put money down that most of you don't have an antivirus installed. And those of you that do are protecting yourself against the tornado with an umbrella. You see, while viruses have gone through a disruption in their level of complexity, antivirus makers have been asleep at their watch. Each of Shine's founders has at least 20 years of experience in white hat hacking. Ron, our CEO, has sold two companies in this space. And our team has both defended against and created the most sophisticated cyber weapons the world has seen. This is how we know that existing antivirus solutions are 90% irrelevant on mobile devices. This isn't the quiet before the storm. This is the storm before Armageddon, and you are absolutely exposed. We believe that not only do you deserve proper mobile protection, we believe it should be a basic digital right, that it should be free for everyone. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and mobile protection. And this is why today we are introducing Shine. This is antivirus rethought, true protection that finally keeps up with the threats and devices of today's world. We are a mobile first antivirus company and we are starting with Android. This is what Shine looks like when everything is fine. The sun is shining and there's nothing to worry about. But let's see what happens when we have cloudy skies. Let's switch to the Elmo, please. Alon will now run a virus masked as a flashlight app that any of us will be tempted to download and run. This device has three antivirus applications on it, Kaspersky, AVG, and Lookout. Now we will install the, this application and nothing, no detection, and certainly no blocking. This cute little app just so happens to transmit every word you read or write. Now we'll run the same application on a device with Shine. We're installing the application, and bingo. Shine detected and blocked it. Stuxnet, Flame, Shamoon, we catch all of them. And forget about fireworks, alarm bells, or quarantine files. With Shine blocking viruses, is as gentle as a dandelion blowing in the wind. Let's switch to the presentation, mm -hmm. please. So how do we do it? There are three main innovations Shine brings to this space. The first is on the device itself. Let's say you wake up this morning with the flu. Well, you didn't actually get sick today. You just realized you're sick today. If we would have placed sensors across your system three days ago, we would have noticed that your temperature started rising by 0.1%, that your body started producing white blood cells at a higher rate, that your muscles began to slowly, almost unnoticeably, ache. Very minute changes but ones that could be foretelling of an impending flu. And that's exactly how Shine instruments mobile devices. We listen to each and every event, picking up every minute change, <laughs> then and in real time, and that's a very big deal. We run an ensemble of machine learning, deterministic, and predictive algorithms to analyze, forecast, and block threats. How good are we? Try a 96% detection rate, and we're still just in beta. The second innovation we're bringing is in the way we watch over our users holistically. We call this entity in motion. For us, there is no work run or home run. For us, there is run at work and run at home. There is only one run. If something suspicious is happening on Ron's tablet at home, it absolutely has relevance to Ron's work device. Let's switch to the Elmo. Here are Ron's three devices. And as we can see, Shine blocked the virus on his tablet all the way back at home in Tel Aviv. Let's go back to the presentation. Shine's third innovation is that we inject self-healing functionality into the OS. This means that once Shine is installed, the OS will be able to mend and regenerate damage caused by a malware or a virus on the way to achieve their, ob their objective. This is literally like Wolverine's adamantium. And yes, We've been patenting all these innovations from day one. Now let's talk business. Consumers will receive detection, blocking, and healing for free. Free sunshine. Business users will be charged for all three. We already know that self-healing will be a massive time and money saver for IT departments. And right about now, you must be wondering about our consumer acquisition strategy. 
we are already in talks with the largest Android device OEMs. Expect to see Shine pre-installed on many, many devices. Uh, how can you get your hands on Shine today? Simply go to Google Play, download Shine, and install. That's it. No registration is necessary unless you want to manage multiple devices or invite your friends. But that's just for convenience. This is a proud day for us. We developed Shine to be as obvious as the sun shining upon you. Mobile protection, your basic digital right, is our calling. Go to getshine.com, protect yourself and your loved ones. Shine on, guys. Thank you. Great job, guys. Judges? <clears throat> so, uh, I wasn't sure. It looks like you're capturing signatures of tr traditional vectors of attack. But with a 96% rate of stopping attacks, are you on the fly finding you know, new attacks and stopping them? And how are you recognizing them? And then also, how you, do you not have false positives if you're doing that? Yeah. Our solution is not based on signatures. It, it is based on machine learning, on artificial intelligence. The agent that resides on the end device actually runs artificial intelligence algorithm, algorithmics to detect by the behavior of the user and the applications what is malicious and what is not. Um, basically, we have 96% uh, detection. This, this is internal number that we have got in our labs by using many, many ap malicious applications, tens of, tens of thousands of malicious applications and good applications, and we tested that. Our, our detection rate is 96% by this test. Um, traditional solution, by the way, are about 50%. This is like flipping a coin, detection or not detection of malware. Um, this is how we do it. And, and if, I give, if, if I download your agent, what am I giving you access to? Because it seems like you're tracking just about everything I do on my phone in terms of. You're giving us nothing. We're not, taking, we're not picking up everything and sending it to a server or nothing like this. Everything is happening locally on your device. Okay. The whole algorithmics is local. You don't need to connect to so The algorithms, but they're. Am I giving you access? What am I giving you access to? The algorithms access to in my device? Nothing. No. Nothing. It's basically everything. vectors of attacks that are transmitted from the hive, the server in the cloud, to your device updating the new algorithmics to, to know and to be better next time something will go wrong. So one of the reasons that people do go with signature-based approaches or actually doing the analysis in, in the cloud is that if you're running a whole artificial intelligence engine on the phone, you're burning, you're burning CPU, which is burning battery life. And in, in my world, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm going to trade battery life for just about anything. So how much of a battery life hit are you taking? Yeah, in that case, we have managed to change a little bit the laws of physics. Uh, we I'm take sort of less skeptical of that. <laughs> uh, you can download and see. Uh, we take less than 1% CPU of an Android device. The whole process of learning and uh, achieving, uh, uh, creating the context of, of whether something is bad or good is already being done in the lab. Now you got just the brain installed inside the device, and everything is much, much easier to do. And so it's 1% of CPU running all the time? No, just when we have to inspect something. Normally, you wouldn't know that we're there. So how big a problem is this, really? Like, I mean, why isn't this, like, everyone sitting in the audience, I don't think we can point to one person here that really has had this problem. So you're, why, why isn't the solution the, the fact that you know, that we have these lockdown controlled app stores that has basically uh, eliminated the widespreading of malicious apps. I mean, isn't this something that Google's going to solve? Basically, they should. Uh, but you, you know, there, is, there are malwares in the market right now. About 25% of, of the applications over there have a malicious activity of someone, some, some kind of malicious activity. So, yeah. Um. I can tell you that we're seeing in our lab that many, many uh, applications that we're uh, getting from the official uh, markets and app stores, all of them are uh, uh, a serious bunch of them are malwares. But you can also search for uh, independent researchers. 
that says that there are no efficient tools now to actually inspect and see what's malware and what's not. So it's a jungle in the markets. And uh, we believe that it should be something that is dedicated to seeking malwares. No one can do this unless they really want to do this. Uh, it's a mechanism that you have to invent. So about a year ago, there was the case, I'm forgetting which carrier it was, that had the pre-installed spyware that you, you probably are going to re recall and can refresh my memory. But this is a, a scary situation when you've got pre-installed software that is monitoring all activity on a device and then creating a mapping for that user of every device that they have, right, to look at uh, all activity across multiple devices. That worries me as a consumer. If I've, I don't necessarily even have a relationship with you and my carrier is now monitoring all local device on my phone and mapping that to my tablet and other stuff. How, how are you mapping that collection of devices and how are you ensuring that, that there's no illicit activity across uh, any access to that activity? You okay. have to do that actively. As a user, you have to install Shine and connect all your devices that you want, to, you want them to be protected as one. So you have to do that as a user. You don't get pre-installed on that many devices by your carrier. And who has access to the data about my account? Yeah, that's, we have to be clear about this. No one, not even us. We can't see what happens in your devices. The information that goes between devices is alerts that already happened, and we're sharing this information between you and your other devices. We're not picking up these events and minute changes and all the algorithms that we are building into our servers. We don't care. We don't want them. It's something that happens locally on your device, and it remains there. We are not even trying to mess with the privacy and everything that we know should be taken care of. I mean, this is what we're protecting against. So, all right, we're out of time. But great job, guys. That was Shine Security. Thank you.